As light disappears, night provides a chance to turn to intentions that are far from noble. Any time of the day, anything can happen. An opportunity to choose between what is right and what is not. You got to do what you got to do to do what you want to do, first of all. For the first 19 years yeah. of his life, LeCharles McWilliams chose the latter. His first arrest came at age 14. Repeat offender in juvenile. I was always going back to back, basically. Why, but, why did you Why did you keep ending up back in juvenile? I mean, I ended up back in juvenile because of the mistakes I made and the choices I made. Of all the charges he faced, of all the times he ended up in juvenile court, the most recent was the most serious. The Charles and a group of kids jumped, attacked, and robbed a man last year near the farmer's market. Wanted to beat up the man for our phone so we can have a better phone or something, you know. For the crime he committed, LeCharles was placed on probation. He does not deny breaking the law. Why did you turn to crime? Why did you do bad things? Why did I do bad things? Like I said, me, myself, why I did bad things? It's because I chose to. Choice. It is partly what led him down that path. But he also says the way he was raised didn't do him any favors. How do you think not having your dad around I mean, changed you? Don't get me wrong, me being a child and growing up, I mean, it still touched me here and there because, like I said, love go a long way. I could have had him around. I probably would have been doing stuff different. Like I said, you can't feed stuff on the past. Because you didn't have that love. Right. While the Charles is the face of what is broken with our city, he is also the face of how kids can change. I ain't going to say it's the parents' fault. I'm not going to say it's the system's fault. It's the person who's making the decision fault. This teenager, though, had some help finding his way. If a child doesn't want to see their family struggling or is always around poverty and the only ways that they've seen for that not to happen is to do things that are criminal that's what they're gonna more draw to yeah well, go ahead and give me your phones derek stroke was once like la charles on a recent wednesday though come on man he was leading Say seven young men Say back down an admirable path you young men y'all ain't kids y'all don't want us to treat y'all like kids all of them are under the age of 18. The program they're in is called GAME. Ironic in a way, but it stands for gentlemen and not gangsters. That's where y'all at in life. Every one of them forced to be here by the juvenile court system. A thread of commonality woven between them, gun possession charges. Okay. Is that your, your landscaping company? Yeah, I'm trying to put it up with my dad. Okay. If you want to understand what our youth are up against. How's your day going? Listen to kids like Leander Collier. How old are you? 16. Whites Creek? Freshman? Uh, it's, uh, June. He was arrested in August for having a gun. He and the other kids made it painfully clear they didn't want to be here, facing the consequences for their actions. Do you take responsibility yeah. for it? Yeah, I ain't like, do, do, you, do you know you shouldn't have had the gun? Yeah, I know, but still at the end of the day, it's kind of like, you know what I mean? it is what it is. It is what it is. I regret it, though. But there is something inherently sobering about this young man's reality. He didn't have a gun to commit a crime. He had a gun because he does not feel safe in our city. At 16, you felt like you needed to have a gun. What does that say about the city? It ain't safe. It really ain't. I mean, it's not safe. no other way to put it. Concerned yet, you should be. How'd you end up here? There's just some stupid decisions. Like what? A uh, little two gun charge. Gun charge. Yeah. Salome Aguilar, also arrested for having a gun, shared similar sentiments as his classmates. Why'd you have the gun? I don't even know. It wasn't even mine. It was just in my room. But it wasn't mine, though. But why'd you have it on you? What, protection? Do you think it was cool? I mean, what? You need, you need a gun everywhere you go you need these days. Why do you need a gun? Mm hmm because you're scared? Because what? I ain't scared of nothing, but it's just for protection. You you know how nasty you be getting. Why do you think some of these kids are falling through the cracks? Because it's not cracks. It's gaping holes. It's falling through the cracks is where you have a system that's working and is producing consistent good results. That's not what this is. The system's not working. No, not at all. But, well, it's working, but it's designed not to work. The system may not be working, but that doesn't mean Derek and these volunteers aren't trying. Somewhere they are feeling failed 
by the community. In order to get off of probation, these teens have to complete 12 weeks of gang. But the program isn't an absolute fix. It's a reason why somebody keep telling you the same thing. That means multiple different people keep seeing the same thing that actually care about you, though. Nine weeks ago, there were 14 kids sitting in the Mount Carmel Missionary Baptist Church. On this evening, there were seven. And none of them was paying attention. We're trying to help y'all. So they have asked you guys multiple times, what would you guys like to do? What would help you succeed? Mariah Sowell tried tough love, to but that didn't work. Let's be honest here. This class is going to fail. Yes. Yes. And it's unfortunate, um, but they're going to have to start over. And we're going to have to do this again. We're going to have to come a different way. All of these kids have failed this class. It's the reality of the situation when we are asking unfunded volunteer programs to fix our broken youth. You guys are the safety net that is trying to catch these kids, but there's no funding for it. You're volunteering, right? Right, absolutely. So what does that say about how things are working? It's saying that they're not working. <laughs> you know, um, we're just saying, try to keep it censored, but it's just saying, you know, people don't, you don't have to censor it. I mean, it's just a lot of people that don't give a damn. But they will keep trying and start the 12-week program over again. Week after week, these kids will come back until they get it right, which is how a familiar face ended up here. My name is LaCharles McWilliams. I was in this program just like I was. As a kid who graduated from gang, LaCharles gets it. Anybody can get hit. So you understand why these kids don't want to be here? Yes. Yeah. I see where they're coming from. It's boring. And having been in their shoes, he's trying his best to make sure these seven teens understand they can change. Have you gotten in trouble since you left the program? No. Nah. So would you say that that's a success? That, that's a big success. It is impossible to catch every teenager our society fails. But Charles McWilliams will tell you fixing what's broken starts with hope. Is there hope for these kids? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank Thanks, you. Sir. I appreciate it. I mean, yeah, it's plenty of hope. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you. Yeah, you can change. You can change yourself.